Okay, hello everybody, welcome back. Uh, this is uh, uh, part two of uh, the video series Street Evangelism. Let's move on to uh, 1 Corinthians uh, uh, 2, verse 1. Verse 1, And I, brethren, when I came to you, came not with excellency of speech or of wisdom, declaring unto you the testimony of God. For I determined not to know anything among you save Jesus Christ and Him crucified. Um, so, Luke, you know, I, I look at these verses here, and um, I see I see Paul, you know, what he's saying there in verse 1. He came with a simple message, uh, because he says, um, When I came to you, came not with excellency of speech or of wisdom, declaring unto you the testimony of God. So he came with a simple message. Uh, a simple gospel presentation. And he even tells you what the message was. For I determined not to know anything among you save Jesus Christ and Him crucified. Well, if, if anybody studied the Bible much at all, they would have to come to the conclusion that Apostle Paul was the greatest evangelist. Yeah. And if you're going to model yourself, uh, you, you want to model your, your method after what Paul did. And he's saying here... He did not come with excellency of speech or of wisdom. In other words, uh, I, I think some of the mistakes I've made in the past, I'll, I'll admit here, that uh, uh, I, when I started doing street evangelism, I prepared a beautiful speech. And I could, I could give a long theological lesson. Uh, but I, I'm afraid that I was, uh, I, I was maybe I was doing it for my own pleasure because I can show everybody my knowledge my uh, my comprehension of all these theological principles and put them all together in one good message <clears throat> but uh, and I, I think that there are many other preachers I've observed and it seems like they're doing the same thing it's like they're they're performing they're, they're, they're preaching for themselves and for the other preachers just to show them how much they know And but Paul's saying really he, 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 uh, it was simple. He says, I determined not to know anything among you save G Jesus Christ and Him crucified. That is a modeled, modeled preacher right there. Mm -hmm. So this is telling me that uh, the message, if you're an evangelist, the message should not be some broad teaching of the Bible. It should be focused like a laser beam on Jesus Christ crucified. Um, would you go on to verse 3 yeah. and 4 too? Yeah, we'll go on, I'll go on to verse 3 and 4. And I was with you in weakness and in fear and in much trembling. And my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom, but in demonstration of the Spirit and of power. And I think you can go over and even into this same book here in 1 Corinthians uh, uh, 15, chapter 15. Uh, Verses uh, uh, three and four, um, where Paul says, uh, "I'll just go ahead and read verses one through four. Uh, Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you, which also ye have received, and wherein ye stand, by which also ye are saved." If you keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless ye have believed in vain, and then he, he goes on here to say what the gospel is, for I delivered unto you, first of all, that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures, and that He was buried, and that He rose again the third day according to the Scriptures. And then if you go down to verse 11, it says, Therefore, whether it were I or they, so we preached, and so ye believed. Mm -hmm. So here we have um, in uh, First Corinthians, and that was uh, chapter. This in first one was chapter two, and then First Corinthians chapter fifteen. In the, both of these examples, Paul is giving us instructions on what to focus on: uh, the simple message of Jesus Christ crucified for our sins, and then and he says it uh, in both of those cases. Exactly, and even in chapter 1 of 1 Corinthians, verse 21, it says, For after that in the wisdom of God, the world by wisdom knew not God. 
it pleased God by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. Mm-hmm. Very simple. Well, one of the things that uh, I've learned from my experience now is that uh, we we need to keep our message. If we're if we're out there, if the purpose is to be an ambassador to Christ and to um, so that people can hear the good news and be saved, if that's our purpose then we need to stay focused on the pure gospel message and don't allow ourselves to get off on all these other theological subjects that you and I might find very interesting, but it has nothing to do with someone's salvation. Exactly, and that is being an ambassador for Christ. As it says you know, in the verse that we read earlier, um, it says, Now then, we are ambassadors for Christ, as though God did beseech you by us, we pray you in Christ's stead, be reconciled to God. And the only way we're going to get these people reconciled to God is by preaching His Gospel. Okay. So, uh, I, would, I would say that uh, what, what I try to focus on and stay focused on all the time is the subject of Jesus Christ. I want people to know who Jesus Christ is. Amen. And He is the Son of God. And I want them to know what Jesus Christ has done for them. Uh, he, he died on that cross as a payment for all of our sins. Uh, and then He ra- was raised from the dead, and that gives us um, the justification knowing that He succeeded. He didn't yeah. just die for nothing. He rose from the dead so that we know that we can trust His death as, a, as the full payment for all of our sins. Uh, so we want to stay focused on the Gospel, who He is, what He did for us, and of course, why we all need Him. Amen. So salvation by faith alone in Christ alone. Yeah. That's what we want to stay focused on. Mm-hmm. Okay, in, in the next video we're going to touch on some of the things we, that, uh, that we want to encourage people to avoid. Just uh, the do-nots. Okay?